In this video we're going to create a cube as shown in the graphics area. If you wanted to start again, which obviously I need to do, I just right click on extrude one. You can see it's highlighting the cube to show that it's being selected. Then I left click on delete, warns me that the highlighted parts will be deleted. Click OK and I'm ready to start afresh. OK, we're going to work with an extrusion and to do this I click on extrusion in the model ribbon bar. I personally prefer to have the plane display turned on. So it's turned on here. I'll just refit the screen which refreshes it at the same time and that will show the, the actual datum planes. Now the datum planes can either be selected in the see them being highlighted in the graphics area or in the model tree. When you hover over in the model tree they're highlighted in the graphics area. Hover over them in the graphics area and they're underlined in the, in the model tree. It really doesn't matter how you do that. Whatever way really works for you. That's the important thing about using computer aided design. So I'm going to click on the front datum plane. I've set my software up so it automatically turns to the uh, sketch view. You may well find you need to just click on this button in the the quick menu here to get the sketch view so you're looking straight at the sketch if you prefer to work that way. I'm going to use a center rectangle so I click on that by the down arrow here by selecting that in the rectangle menu. We've got some reference lines. You notice how the cursor will hang on to those lines even if I wander slightly, if I deviate from the line. I want to start dead in the middle and it tends to click to that point. So I left click and release and then I get my rectangle. If I move it carefully, you notice in the middle there now there are inverted T, green T's. They are showing that it is now equal sided and therefore it's a square. And I want to show you how to make a square a different way. So I'll change that to a rectangle and left click again. Center click to cancel the rectangle tool. You'll notice now in the ribbon menu we've got select. That's, that's highlighted. I select one line, one side, press down and hold control, click the adjacent side, right click and then I select with the left hand button equal. So there's now a square. I can also double click on the dimension green dimension there which is a weak dimension make that 30 which is the size we want for the size of our rectangle and if I want to I'm just pressing and holding on the the number 30 there in the dimension it's showing it's a strong dimension and not a weak dimension anymore and if I want to I can lock that dimension that then turns brown I can't very easily be changed so I'm happy with that I've got a a square 30 by 30. I click OK in the menu there and I move on to the now getting the dashboard for an extrusion. Just click on refit. You may find it good to hold down control and tap D to get the default view to get used to looking at it this way. Now getting lots of things showing there, getting a little bit confused at this end so I can go to the fast menu here and turn off my plane display. That obviously looks a little bit better. It's showing section one because that's what we're using for the the actual extrusion. Now we want the extrusion to be equal about that section so I select this icon to extrude on both sides of the sketch plane. It, it divides up the size we want. So we click on that. I want the extrusion to be 30 as we finish up with the cube. I just roll the mouse wheel towards me to zoom in on that. So I've now got 30 by 30 by 30. Everything is how I want it to be. I could still change them should I want to. You can see it's showing the distances there. We could drag that. Just hold on to these and you can change the size. It's really easier I think to just enter 30 either in the dashboard or even in the graphics area. Click 
accept or apply green tick in the dashboard refit we're back to where we started we have got a cube if necessary watch the video again take care and good luck